welcome back to my YouTube channel. So don't forget to subscribe my TikTok page. Thank you so much. Hello students, happy learning. Our learning objectives at the end of the lesson, the students will be able to first convert units of measurement within the English system. Meron tayong fluid arms, cup, pint, part, and gallon, and solve real life problems involving the conversion of units. Ito po ang kailangan matutunan ng mga grade 7 students in the Matatag Curriculum for Mathematics Quarter 2 lesson. Are you ready to learn? Okay, let's start. First, you are going to determine para matest na yung ating prior knowledge. What unit ba ang gagamitin? Gallon ba? Quart, pint, cup, or fluid ounce in English system? Could be used to measure the capacity of the following objects. Are you ready? Okay, so five seconds ready. Okay, for the first feature, ano kayang unit ang gagamitin natin? That is correct. Fluid ounce or FLO, is a abbreviation or symbol. Next, that is cup. Perfect. C is a symbol. Next, the third feature is pint or pt sa symbol and the fourth one is cart or qt in symbol and last one is gallon or gal kapag symbol na lang okay very good so you got a perfect score so now since sabanggit na natin we can say that that first picture is one fluid arms the second picture is one cup of coffee the third is one pint of juice Fourth is one quart of milk and last one is one gallon of water. So, tandaan po natin ito. So, the term capacity is used for measuring the volume of a liquid. Tandaan natin yan. And take note, a fluid ounce is the smallest, pinakamaliit siya, no, of measuring capacity. And the gallon naman is the largest unit. So now, so we are going to discuss the English system conversion. So the following is a summary no, na kailangan natin tandaan of equivalences between units of capacity. The unit conversion factor for capacity. Ano, ano kaya yun? Una, 8 fluid ounces is equal to 1 cup. The second is 2 cups or C na lang sa symbol is equal to 1 pint or PT sa symbol. Next, Two points with S yan, kasi plural, is equal to one card. Next, four cards with S plural po yan, is equal to one gallon. Tandaan po natin yan, yung unit conversion factor for capacity. So from this, meron tayong tinatawag na unit fraction. Saan ang galing yung unit fraction? Doon po sa conversion factor para sa pagko-convert natin para ma-change natin yung unit to another unit. So, ibig sabihin, pwede natin sabihin natin na 8 fluid ounce over 1 cup. Or pwedeng balik ta rin, 1 cup over 8 fluid ounce. So, depende po dun sa hinihingi na unit. Kaya may option tayo. Pangalawa, pwede natin sabihin na 2 cups over 1 pint. Or pwedeng balik ta rin na 1 pint over 2 cups. Next, that is 2 pints over 1 quart or by pwedeng balik na na 1 quart over 2 pints. And the last one is 4 quarts sa bawat isang galon. Kaya nga naka over 1 gallon siya. Or 1 gallon over 4 quarts. So yan po yung unit fraction na kailangan natin para makapag-convert tayo sa another unit. Okay, let's start. Number 1. Convert 32 fluid ounces to cups. So remember, write the equation and then set a pattern. Since the number given units natin, di ba, fluid ounces, papunta siya ng cup. Ano ang ating unit fraction na kung saan yung ating fluid ounces nasa denominator at yung cup nasa numerator. So you have to use the 1 cup over 8 fluid ounces para makancel natin yung ating Fluid ounces. So, cancel natin. And then, multiply mo ngayon yung 1 cup times 32. 32 cups yun. I-divide mo by 8. Kaya nga that is equal to 4 cups. Ibig sabihin, yan na po yung ating number equivalent units. Sa makatuwid, sa 4 cups, meron tayong katumbas na 32 fluid ounces. Next, number 2. How many fluid ounces are there in 2.5 cups? So remember, write the equation and then set up the pattern. Since the number given units natin, di ba? From cup, pupunta siya ng 
fluid onsets. Ano kaya ang ating unit fraction na pipiliin para ma-change natin yung unit from cup to fluid onsets. So, ibig sabihin, yung denominator mo nandun yung cup at yung numerator mo nandun naman yung fluid onsets. Kaya gagamitin po natin si A fluid onsets over 1 cup. Kaya nga, cancel mo yung same unit na cup, then i-multiply mo ngayon yung 8 fluid onsets times 2.5. That is equal to 20 fluid ounces. Yan na po yung ating number equivalent unit. Sa makatuwid, meron tayong 20 fluid ounces sa loob ng 2.5 cups. Next, number 3. Convert 14 points to cups. So remember, write the equation natin. And then, set up the pattern. Ano kaya ang ating number given units, di ba? From points to cups. So, anong unit fraction ang ilalagay ko sa parenthesis na to para makancel ko. But take note, yung points nasa denominator. Yung cups nasa numerator. Alin kaya dyan? Yan yung 2 cups over 1 pint. And you can now cancel the same unit, yung Pines with S kasi plural siya. Kaya cancel mo siya. And then, multiply mo ngayon yung 2 cups times 14. That is equal to 28 cups. Ibig sabihin, yan na po yung ating number equivalent units. Sa makatuwid, meron tayong 28 cups sa loob ng 14 pints. Next, number 4. How many pints are there in 17 cups? Remember, write the equation and then set a pattern. Since the number given units mo from cups, papunta ka ng pints. Ano kaya ang ating unit fraction na ilalagay sa parenthesis para makancel mo? But take note, yung ating cups nasa denominator at yung pints naman nasa numerator. Alin kaya dyan sa unit fraction? Yung po yung 1 pint over 2 cups. Then cancel mo na yung ating same unit na cup. And then, i-multiply mo nga yun yung 1 pint times 17. That is 17 pints over 2. Kaya nga, that is equal to, very good, 8.5 pints. Yan na po yung ating number equivalent units. Sa makatawid, meron tayong 8.5 pints sa loob ng 17 cups. Next, number 5, convert 10.5 cards to pints. So, remember, write the equation and then set up pattern. Since the number given units mo, from cards papunta ng pints. Ano kaya ang ating pipiliin unit fraction na ilalagay sa parenthesis? But take note, yung ating cards dapat nasa denominator at yung pints naman nasa numerator. Alin kaya sa unit fraction? Yung po yung ating two pints over one card. Then cancel mo yung ating same unit na cards with S kasi plural yon. And that is, multiply mo ngayon yung natira, 2 pints times 10.5. That is equal to 21 pints. Yan na po yung ating number equivalent unit. Sa makatawid, meron tayong 21 pints sa loob ng 10.5 cards. Next, number 6. How many cards are there in 48 pints? So, remember, write the equation. Kailang ma-master natin ito. So, ibig sabihin, since the number given units mo, from pints papunta ng cards. Ano unit fraction kaya ang gagamitin natin? But take note, yung pints mo nasa numerator dapat ha, yung pipiliin. At yung cards naman nasa numerator. Okay, alin kaya dyan? Yan yung ating one card over two pints. Para makancel mo ngayon yung ating same unit na pints. And then, i-multiply mo ngayon yung one card times 48, 48 cards yon. Divide by 2. Kaya nga, that is equal to, very good, 24 cards. Yan na po yung ating number equivalent units. Ibig sabihin, meron tayong 24 cards sa loob ng 48 pints. Next, number 9. Convert 9 gallons to cards. So, remember, write the equation. So, and then, set a pattern na agad natin. Since the number given units natin, di ba, galon papunta ng cards. Ano unit fraction kaya ang ating ilalagay sa parenthesis? But take note, yung galon dyan nasa denominator. At yung numerator mo, nandun yung cards para makancel mo yung galon. Yun yung ating gagamitin na 4 cards over 1 galon. Kaya nga, you can now set up and then cancel mo yung the same unit na galon. I-multiply mo yung natira na 4 cards times 9. That is equal to 36 cards. Iyan na po yung ating number equivalent units. Ibig sabihin, meron tayong 36 cards sa loob ng sham or 9 gallons. Next, number 8, convert 80 pints to gallons. So, remember, write the equation. So, and then set a pattern. But take note, no? So, kung titignan natin, ano kayang ilalagay ko sa parenthesis? From pints kasi, analyze natin, pupunta ka ng gallons. Meron po bang direct? Di ba, wala? 
ibig sabihin niyan magto two conversion unit ka para ma-change mo yung unit. Ibig sabihin gagamit tayo ng one cart over two pints kasi makaka-cancel mo yung pints doon. Cancel mo yung unit and then multiply mo one cart times 80. Yung sagot doon, 80 carts divided by 2. And that is very good, 40 cards. Since ang hinihingi dyan na unit iba galo, hindi pa rin natin naabot. Ibig sabihin, mag-iisa ka mang conversion ka pa. Parang sasakyan, di ba? Magto-two rides ka. Isa pang sasakyan tayo. So solution, copy mo yung nakuha mong sagot na 40 cards, then i-multiply mo dun sa isa pang unit fraction. Ibig sabihin yan, yung cards na sa denominator. Okay, alin kaya dyan? Yun yung ating 1 gallon over... 4 cards. Para makancel mo yung cards and then i-multiply mo yung natira na 1 gallon times 40, 40 gallons yon Divide by 4 and that is how many? Very, very good. Correct. 10 gallons. Ibig sabihin, naabot na natin yung ating unit. Kaya nga, sa 10 gallons, meron tayong katumbas na 80 pints. Next, number 9. How many cups are there in 2 gallons? ba? Diba? Ilang cups kaya yon? So, remember, write the equation first para ma-analyze natin and then set a pattern. Okay, but take note, no, analyze natin. Kung titignan mo, yung gallon papunta ka ng cups. ba diba yung cups nandito sa pa pangalawa? Eh, nandito ka sa gallon. Ibig sabihin niya, ilang unit fraction ang gagamitin mo? Tatlo, ba? Diba? Ibig sabihin niya, gagamit ka muna ng 4 cards over 1 gallon. Okay, then cancel mo yung same unit na gallon. Then, multiply mo ngayon yung 4 cards times 2. That is equal to 8 cards. So, ibig sabihin yan, gagamit ka pa ng isa ba? Kasi tatlo ang kailangan natin para marating, marating natin yung cups. So, copy mo ulit yung, yung 8 cards mo for the solution and imumultiply mo pa siya sa isa pang unit fraction na kung saan yung cards mo nasa denominator kasi papunta ka ng cups, di ba? Ibig sabihin siya yung magdudugtong sa daanan. Kaya nga, i-multiply mo siya by 2 pints over 1 card. Then, cancel the same unit yung cards. Plural yan na, kaya may S. And then, i-multiply mo yung 2 pints times 8. That is equal to 16 pints. And then, isa na lang, isang sasakyan ka na lang or isang unit fraction. From 16 pints, solution again, i-multiply mo siya sa isa pang unit fraction na kung saan yung pints naman nasa denominator at yung cups naman nasa numerator. Alin kaya dyan? Yun yung ating 2 cups over 1 pint. Kaya nga, you can now cancel the same unit pints with S kasi plural. Then multiply mo yung 2 cups times 16. And that is how many? Very good. 32 cups. Ibig sabihin, naabot na natin. Sa makatuwid, meron tayong 32 cups sa loob ng dalawang gallons. Okay, for that, to test your understanding, learnings, you are going to answer the question number one. Ready? Okay, your answer is letter B. Oh, paano po nakuha yun? Di ba si Alex want to make gravy, you know? And the recipe requires 16 fluid ounces of chicken broth. Ilan yun ang katumbas ng 16 fluid ounces to cups? So that is, ginamit niya yung ating 1 cup over 8 fluid ounces. Kung baga, dinivide lang niya by 8. Yung 16 divide by 8, kaya nga that is 2 cups yun. Next, number 2. Ready? Okay, very good. Your answer is correct. Wait, points. Paano nakuha yun? Okay. So, ginamit po dyan yung conversion unit na 2 points over 1 cart. Okay, di ba? So, para siyang minultiply lang niya. Okay, 2 points times 12, kaya nga 24. So, that is, yun yung ating how many points should should. Okay, ready? Number 3. Ready? Okay, so si Tayong, di ba, nag-purchase siya ng 5 gallons of water para mag-camping sila. And i-plan niyang ilagay yun sa water into insulated flush, yung lalagyan, no? That measure one cart each to keep the water cool. Ang tanong dyan, how many flush will it take to contain all 5 gallons? Ready? That is correct. 20 carts. Paano nakuha yon? Ang ginamit po dyan is 4 carts over 1 gallon. Kung baga minultiply niya. Kasi di ba sa isang gallon meron tayong apat na quarts. E lima yon, Kaya nga 4 times 5, that is 20 carts. Okay, for your assignment, ready? Copy. Okay, 
Okay, so convert the following units of capacity ha, in English system. Copy ninyo and answer with solution on one whole sheet of paper. Ready? Okay, so with that, I hope you learned something and keep on learning. Happy learning, everyone. Bye-bye.